Hi there. In this video, I'll guide you step-by-step -step on how to register an Alipay personal account. First, download the Alipay app on your phone. It's available for both Android and iOS. You'll recognize it by the blue logo. Make sure you're downloading the correct app. Once it's downloaded, open the app. On the home page, tap register to start the process. Make sure the area code is set to your country. For example, United States code is one. Enter your phone number, then tap login via SMS. On the next screen, review the terms and conditions. Once you're ready, tap the accept button on the right. Let me explain why we need an Alipay personal account. It's essential for verifying your identity on 1688. Without linking your Alipay account to 1688, you won't be able to make payments. That's why this step is so important. After tapping login via SMS, Alipay will send a four-digit code to your phone. Enter the code in the app. And that's it. Your account is now created. However, it's not verified yet. Let's move on to that step. Tap the Me button at the bottom right of the app to go to your personal account page. Here, you'll see placeholders for your profile picture and nickname. Tap the arrow to set these up. Add a photo, it can be any picture, and set a nickname. Ensure your phone number is correctly linked to your account. Now, let's start the identity verification process. On your account page, you'll notice the status says uncertified. To verify your account, you'll need a valid passport. Make sure it hasn't expired. Tap verify, select your country, if it's not displayed automatically, and choose Passport as the document type. Tap Scan to fill automatically. This allows the app to scan your passport and fill in your details automatically. Align your passport within the frame on the screen. The app will take a photo and process the information. The system will input your details, such as your name, passport number, and date of birth. Check everything carefully for accuracy. Once you've confirmed that all the details are correct, Tap Submit. The verification process usually takes one to two days. You'll receive a notification or SMS once your account is verified. Go back to your account page to confirm the verification status. If your account still shows unverified, revisit the account and security settings to complete the verification process. It's crucial to have your account fully verified. Look for two verification logos, one in your profile and one in the security settings. Next, Let's check your account one more time to confirm everything is set up correctly. Start by tapping the Me button at the bottom of the app. This will take you to your account page. Look for the arrow button on the right-hand side. Tap that arrow to open the My Account page. Here, you should see your profile picture, nickname, and phone number displayed. Now tap on Profile on this page. If your account has been verified, you'll see a small blue verification logo in the top right corner. Your name, both first and last, should also be displayed. This confirms that your account has passed the verification process. The blue verification logo indicates that your identity has been verified. This is a critical step for using Alipay. If you see this logo, congratulations, your account is verified. But there's one more step to double check everything. Go back to the My Account page, and this time, tap the gear icon to open your account settings. In the settings, select Account and Security to ensure all your information is accurate and properly linked. On the Account and Security page, verify that your phone number is correct. If you haven't added an email yet, now's the time to do so. Adding your email is crucial. This allows Alipay to contact you in case of any issues with your account. If your account is fully verified, the word verified will appear here as well. This confirms that everything is in order. However, if you see the status as unverified, tap it again and follow the steps to complete verification. This may involve scanning your passport one more time. Most of the time, this step isn't necessary, but it's good to know just in case. Sometimes, people skip the earlier steps and try to verify directly here in the settings. This often causes the process to remain incomplete. To avoid any issues, make sure you followed all the steps I showed earlier, starting with scanning your passport. It's critical that your account shows as fully verified. Look for two blue verification logos, one on your profile and one in the settings. These two logos confirm that your account is ready to use without any restrictions. This is an essential part of using Alipay safely. If you don't see both logos, go back and repeat the verification steps to make sure everything is set up correctly. Once these steps are complete, 
you can move forward with confidence. A fully verified account is key to using Alipay with 1688. Remember, without these verifications, you won't be able to pay for purchases on 1688, so it's worth double checking. On this page, we'll set up a password for your Alipay account together. Let's start. First, tap the gear icon to go to the settings. Then, select account and security. Here, you'll see three fields, login password, login method, and unlock settings. We'll go through each of these step by step. Let's start with the login password. Tap on login password. You'll be prompted to complete a quick face verification or similar step. Once verification is complete, the next page will appear. Tap change now to set your new password. Enter a secure password that you'll use to log in to your Alipay account. This password is important, so make sure to remember it and write it down in a safe place. Your password must be eight characters long. It can be all numbers or a combination of letters and numbers. Once you've entered the password, confirm it by entering it again, then tap OK to save your settings. Great, you've successfully set up your login password. Now, let's move on to the login method. The login method depends on your phone's capabilities. You might see options like face login, fingerprint login, or pattern login. In this demo, I'll set up face login. If your phone supports it, follow along. Tap login method, then select sign in with face. Enable it by tapping confirm enable. And that's it for setting up the login method. Now, let's look at the unlock settings. The unlock settings determine how Alipay can be unlocked. You'll see options like no unlock, face ID unlock, or custom unlock. For this demo, I'll select face unlock. Let's choose the middle option and enable it. Remember, you must complete the login method setup first before enabling this feature. Once the unlock settings are configured, you're all set. Great work so far. Next, let's set up your Alipay payment password. This password is required for every payment, especially when using the 1688 cross-border pay feature. Whenever you make a purchase, the system will ask for your payment password. So let's set it up now. Go to the payment settings page, tap on payment password, and follow the steps to set a six digit password. Avoid using simple or repeated numbers like 123456 or 111222. Choose a secure password and confirm it. Once confirmed, the system will notify you that your payment password has been successfully added. If you've enabled face login, you can use it for quicker payments. Otherwise, you'll enter your password manually for every transaction. And that's it. Your Alipay payment password is now set. Don't forget it. Keep it in a secure place. Remember, this password is required whether you're paying through Taobao, 1688, or directly with a seller. Finally, if you haven't already, add your bank card to Alipay. This is required for transactions and ensures your account is ready to use. And there you go. Your Alipay account is now fully set up, secure, and ready for payments. Thank you for following along.